Hey everybody, welcome back to a new project in Parkitect. Now, before I move on and talk about what actually is I'm building, you probably guessed from the um, thumbnail of the video anyway, but uh, just hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon if you want to be notified when I next upload a video. I try and get content out um, as quick as I can. I, I'm very busy with work and stuff, so I try and get one. I say once a week, but that doesn't generally happen very often. And now it's kind of averaging out to be maybe once every two weeks or three weeks at the moment. But I'm doing my best. So here we go um, onto this new project. I can't really believe I'm starting a new project. I don't really have the time, but I'm going to try and, uh, you know, try my best to get some of it done. And uh, I've enjoyed doing it so far. And I'm just kind of fishing around in my head moment for ideas. But uh, this was actually um, a comment that I had on an old video that said you should maybe try doing a bush gardens park because of the they have more of a, a change in terrain heights and a lot more kind of trees and forest and a lot more theming going on and i thought that would be a really cool idea and the idea was going around in my head for quite some time and i uh, decided to, to actually start one and to begin with i just thought i would do some sort of infrastructure layout just to get an idea of the entrance and the exit of the park with traffic and uh, I wanted to try and do a, a, a one of those car entrances where you go in and you you know go through to the car park um, for the for the park. And uh, that was something I haven't done before. I didn't do it on Cedar Fair's Adventure. And that park I was trying to go for ultimate realism. And I guess I kind of achieved it, but with kind of the infrastructure and the way the traffic would flow into the park was something I didn't really concentrate on. So that's something I've decided to do this time. I'm just using path covers here for the roads and then using um, the Shy Guy 4 fences uh, to sink in the ground to make the road lines etc. The road work set is pretty good for this but when you use path covers some of the road work um, markings on the floor don't actually uh, sit on top of the floor path, they get covered so I've had to improvise and make my own using other pieces of scenery. And I've used a picture from Bush Gardens Tampa Bay just to get an idea here for the um, the flow of the roads and how the car park would actually, you know, enter and exit, that kind of thing. Um, because I'm not really like an expert on this kind of thing, I found playing City Skylines quite difficult because it's not really my, my thing. Um, so I kind of stick to theme parks, that's why I don't do any videos on City Skylines. Um, but uh, I need, you know, that kind of inspiration for roads and things is something I have to look up and, and kind of somewhat copy from pictures. So um, I mentioned Bush Gardens Tampa Bay there. There's also Bush Gardens Europe in Williamsburg. And that's another park I should draw inspiration from. Uh, Bush Gardens obviously a part of the SeaWorld Entertainment and SeaWorld Parks um, as well have a somewhat kind of Bush Gardens atmosphere, I guess. Uh, especially Orlando, I, I find. I do I do really enjoy that park. Um, and the rides are also there are themed, you know, like the coasters have a an idea and a theme and it's executed throughout the queue line, that kind of thing. And that's something I find with Bush Gardens as well. And uh, I've not been to Bush Gardens Europe. I have been to Bush Gardens Africa in Tampa Bay. Um, been there twice, actually. And I really do love the park. There's some great coasters. So this park is something that I'm going to... Uh, experiment with with doing big coasters maybe a hyper in there that kind of thing um but yeah i just wanted to do some terrain here and this is ideas obviously from bush gardens europe with the old area where big bad wolf was where it would scoop down the valley so i'm thinking of doing something similar to that maybe with a suspended coaster now i've never used a suspended coaster in any of my parks so maybe this could be a first in this park do it if i think of a good layout that kind of thing but I'm definitely going to draw inspiration from those parks, but also from you guys. If you have, if you have any ideas, um, you know, let me down, let me know down below, and I'm see, I'll see what I can do, and if I can incorporate some of those ideas somehow into the park. Um, you know, I need to start the park somehow as well, so I'm kind of thinking of uh, an entrance theme because Bush Gardens Tampa Bay has this kind of uh, African or Morocco kind of style entrance, and. Um, I don't know if I want to do the same or if I want to do my own, but I'm kind of struggling to think of ideas. And also with the themes for each areas, um, I'm not really too sure what it is I shall do in each section. I like the idea of Bush Gardens Europe and having like the German section and you know the Scottish section and all these different areas that have to do with Europe, which I think is a great way to do it. And I think I could uh, execute that a lot better than doing maybe what they've got going on at Bush Gardens Tampa. But then. 
also with Bush Gardens Tampa, you have like the Egyptian theme and um, you know Africa and the Congo River, and that's something as well. I think could be quite cool. Maybe I could merge the two and do my own kind of take on it, or maybe I should just com- think of a completely new uh, style of theme to go with. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm just going to go with the flow, see what happens. But uh, at the moment, I'm building the car entrance to the park and I'm just kind of dropping down walls, pieces of roofs and just seeing what's happening. And uh, this is kind of the first kind of themed-ish building and it's definitely got a Bush Gardens Europe style going on. I love those brick fences. I use those a lot, especially as details in the air, not only as fences. I like to use them a lot. And uh, I'm just using some pillars just to um, neaten everything up and give it a extra bit of style. But I was really unsure with these buildings either side, but they turned out to be okay in the end. But yeah, I've never built one of these before. I've seen them many times. People build them on Planet Coaster a lot, and I've seen seen those. And also in, in Rokos Tycoon 2 and 3, I've seen lots of pictures of different parks and things that also have these car entrances. And I think um, it's something that most parks have. I don't think I can think of a park that doesn't really have one. Um, there's always some type of way that the, your car goes through a barrier to get into the park, into the car park. Um, some are more bigger than others, and I think this is kind of a, a large kind of sized one compared to some of the ones I've seen here in the theme parks in Europe. But as you can see now, I'm just putting the Bush Gardens letters on top of the roof here. And I've been looking up some pictures of the Bush Gardens logo which I thought was completely something else, but it turns out it's this kind of circular flower looking thing. And uh, I'm gonna try and build that on top of here as well by using different shapes and pieces to try and get the look of that. So that's a bit of a challenge, but something I really enjoy doing. Um, I'm just gonna move the word gardens over a little bit because I think it'd be better if the logo is more in the center. But I love the letters mod, it's really great. You can resize the letters and build signs or roller coaster entrances and make all the letters different sizes and have more style going on and I think it's a really great thing that you can do as, as something that you couldn't do in the roller coaster tycoon park uh, games and something that you can do in park Architect. and I think it's a great idea that you can resize stuff because it really is like a cool unique way of, of you know changing pieces of scenery that are the same but there we go there's the Bush Gardens logo which I just copied from a picture and uh, I'm just going to go in now and add some more details here for the roads. I don't completely finish this in today's episode. I want to leave a little bit more for the next episode. And uh, I haven't really built too much so far. Um, I've built, you know, the car park in, in this kind of bit. And there's not really anything too interesting to show you. But uh, it's taken me quite a long time just because I'm trying to go in there with some details and things. And there's always the beginning of a park always takes uh, a long time just to get yourself set up with the land and the way the park will flow. And once you kind of got that nailed and settled down, it's kind of easier from there onwards. I mean, I think starting a park as well is knowing where the park will, paths will go, where the buildings are, kind of thing is always difficult. And once you've got that down, then the park kind of speaks to you and tells you where to go and your ideas start popping into your head. I haven't got to that bit yet, so it might take a while. And plus with work, and etc., that I do, um, which might take me a bit longer to get episodes out now and then. So I should try my hardest to get bits out. And um, maybe this project will go on for quite a while until it's done. Um, or maybe I could collaborate with some people if they want to add some stuff to this park. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how, how it's going. Um, but yeah, uh, I haven't really got much to say anymore. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon like I said at the beginning of the video and I'll see you all next time for more of this Bush Gardens Park. So thanks for watching. Bye.